welcome back to my classroom. I'm Miss Pope and I'm so glad you're here. We know that a group of people who are related to each other are called a family. Today we're going to learn more about what groups of animals are called. This is going to be fun. Did you know that a, a group, group of crows is called, is a, called murder a murder of crows? Of crows? I wonder who I came, wonder who up, came with up with that name and why. Have you seen a large group of eagles together? If so, you witnessed a convocation of eagles. And a group of owls is called a parliament of owls. You might already know this one. A group of geese is called a gaggle of geese. This is one of my favorites and so fitting. Did you know a group of porcupines is called a prickle of porcupines? A group of squirrels is called a scurry. A group of monkeys is called a troop or a barrel. That's why people say things are as fun as a barrel of monkeys. And a group of gorillas is also called a troop. And a group of sloths is called a bed of sloths. I wonder if that's because they're so slow and a little bit lazy. You may remember from our zebra video that a group of zebras is called a dazzle because they look dazzling when they run. I'll link that video in the description box. Now we've come to my favorite animal. A group of elephants is called a parade of elephants. A group of rhinos is called a crash. That makes sense to me. Look at those horns. I bet they could crash through anything. If you've seen The Lion King, I bet you already know that a group of lions is called a pride. I also love this one. A group of hippos is called a bloat. A group of giraffes is called a tower. That makes perfect sense to me. They're so tall they tower over everything. You may have already heard this. A group of whales is called a pod of whales. And I bet you've heard this before, but a group of fish is called a school. This one is another favorite. A group of squid is called an audience. All I picture is an audience of squids watching a movie. A group of sharks is called a shiver. I bet that's because when you see them in the ocean, you shiver a little bit with fear. I love this one and it makes so much sense. A group of starfish is called a galaxy. A group of jellyfish is called a smack. And this one is one you may have heard before, but a group of ants is called a colony of ants. And a group of bees is called a swarm. But I also seem to remember that a group of bees could also be called a colony. I love this one. A group of ladybugs is called a loveliness of ladybugs. A group of flamingos is fittingly called a flamboyance of flamingos. I love it. A group of frogs is called an army. A group of crocodiles is called a float. That makes sense to me, but if I saw them, I might call them a scary float. And you might know that a group of cows is called a herd. And another animal we find on the farm is a chicken. A group of them is called a brood. A group of pigs is called a drift or a drove. I'm not sure that makes a whole lot of sense to me. Does it to you? A group of sheep is called a fold of sheep. And goats in a group are called a tribe. And I love this one. A group of mice together is called a mischief of mice. A group of parrots is called a pandemonium of parrots. A group of dogs is called a pack. 
but I think they should just be called adorable. A group of cats is called a clouder. I know I've said it before, but I mean it this time. This one is my favorite. A group of pandas is called an embarrassment of pandas. When you see a group of seals, you will know that they are either called a harem of seals or a bob of seals. That is strange. A group of dolphins can be called a school, a pod, or a team of dolphins. I hope you had as much fun as I did learning about animal groups. Like this video and subscribe to my channel to spend more time with me in my classroom. I'm looking forward to seeing you again very soon, but for now, bye!